Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, I'm uh, honored to welcome a former student of the Insect Wine Program, Namrata Prashant, uh, who is a former student of mine. Uh, it's a unique opportunity for everyone to share her story. And, uh, and I will start right away from uh, for, with my first question. Namrata, hello. <laughs> How did you land in Bordeaux? Talk to me, talk to Amazing. us. Amazing, good evening, Daniel. <laughs> um, uh, thank you so much for inviting me here on this beautiful day. Um, so I know a lot of you have a lot of questions, you know, intrigued about the brand and, uh, you know, intrigued, intrigued about my story. So um, I'm very happy to be here to share, um, you know, everything that has, you know, happened in the past and my present and, you know, the whole journey. So Daniel, to answer your question, my journey has, has been pretty and not so pretty. It has been long. And, um, but I think somewhere that I have learned to um, gain strength uh, and, you know, move on, move ahead with life. Uh, I have no regrets and I have uh, learned to be a stronger woman today. Mm -hmm. um, it, as a child, I was growing up, uh, I grew up in a nuclear family and um, at some point, uh, my older self, I did hospitality management uh, for four years. And once I completed that, I, um, I got married um, to the love of my life. Um, and unfortunately, um, or fortunately, I don't know, because it's, it mm. was an experience. I got into a very traditional uh, South Indian family who believed that um, you know, a woman's uh, space was in the kitchen. And um, you know, uh, they didn't believe in studying women. They didn't believe in working women. So uh, for the longest time, I, I stayed uh, cleaning, cooking, and taking care of the household, uh, managing the staff. And um, uh, I felt terribly unproductive. Uh, every day I would go to bed feeling, you know, what did I do the whole day? I mean, so um, at, in 2007, I did have my child. Um, she was a baby girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was elated, but at the same time, like all women experience, um, post-pregnancy depression was seeping in. And I somehow felt that I have to keep my, my mind occupied. Um, so I decided to go to Alliance Francaise, which was not very far away from the house. I said it would be a challenge to learn French. So um, I went to the Alliance Francaise. Sometimes over the weekends, sometimes over the weekdays, uh, nobody knew in the house. I enrolled myself secretly, and um, it was an amazing experience. Um, but eventually, people came to know. I mean, everybody came to know, and uh, by that time, I was already in a higher level. So um, Alliance helped me to find my own identity, uh, in a way. Uh, I, after a few years, uh, I said, I'm ready to work. I need to work. My child is a little older. Uh, so in 2009, I, I put out my resume, and then I found a job in a chocolaterie, chocolaterie which was you know, a tiny chocolaterie. Uh, they were building a brand, um, and then they became uh, the one, one um, uh, lounge became two lounges and three lounges. So I was helping them in, in different ways, you know, training the staff, sometimes packing chocolates, sometimes doing so many things. Um, and after I, I stayed over there for a year, uh, they were very nice people, very accommodative for women, working women, stayed for a year. And then I went back to the role of being a housewife. Um, yeah. Then again, in 2015, uh, I felt that, you know, 2013, I felt that I, I, you know, I could just put out my resume and see if, you know, what is the, what is my value, my market value now. Uh, so I did mention in my resume, my CV, that I, I could speak French. 
And then when I um, when I sent it out, I I was shocked to receive a a, a call from an IT company. Uh, it's called Alton. Um, it's based in Paris, and they wanted me to um, work in Société Générale. So they were placing me in a different company to work for them. Uh, so they uh, they called me for an interview and they said, um, you know, uh, this job is for somebody who's fluent in French. So when I was at the interview, uh, they asked me um, a lot of questions. And of course, then I asked them one question. I said, I have no idea about IT. I have no knowledge, mm -hmm. no experience. And why are you hiring me? So um, they said, you know, what he said really shocked me because, you know, he said, um, I can hire you to do an IT job to train you on IT, but I cannot hire um, a person who does uh, an engineer and train him on French. So that was like a revelation for me. Uh, I said, okay, something that I did um, to to ward away the depression, you know, has added immense value to my life. Yeah. So um, by the end of that interview, um, they said, uh, and we need to train, and we need you to train in Paris. And those words, you know, oh. took a long time to sink in. Uh, Paris is every girl's dream. And, you know, after studying at Alliance Francaise, uh, you know, learning about the culture, I was thrilled to hear the word Paris. But I knew it would be difficult to convince everybody. Mm. So somehow I, I did convince everybody. Um, I got all the papers signed. Um, and then I was on the flight to Paris. And uh, Paris, in Paris, I felt free. There was, uh, I felt, you know, at peace with myself. Uh, mm -hmm. I walked around Paris, uh, feeling elated, looking at all the wonders, uh, the Eiffel Tower and um, Montmartre and so many things. And then I, I, I went back after a month. I went back. I, I buried all my dreams. Um, and I said, uh, I'm a wife, I'm a, a mother, and I need to go back. So I went back, I worked with this company for a year. Um, and then um, because of a lot of conflict at home, I had to quit again um, to go back into the role of house, a housewife. Um, then again in 2015, so this was, you know, um, going forward and going backward, you know, quitting, joining work. Sure. Mm -hmm. It involved a lot of conflict at home. Yes. And um, for, for me to manage home, uh, where, you know, I, I was not allowed to work. I didn't, you know, uh, necessarily need to be working. Um, it, it got really tough. And again, in 2015, actually things, things really went downhill from there. In 2015, I said, I have to work. There's no way I'm going to quit now. There's, you know, I'm just going to continue. So uh, I sent out my resumes and LinkedIn picked me up immediately. They, they gave me, a, they hired me, they gave me a job. And they paid me very, very well, uh, LinkedIn. So um, so life was good. But uh, on the first day of my job, I went with a broken laptop, you know, uh, because and I was warned that uh, you, wow. you cannot work. So the intensity got stronger and stronger as the years passed. Mm. Um, and uh, after a very bad incident, uh, I, I took my daughter, who was nine, and I took my dog, who was 12 at that time, and I left home. I went to walk straight to my parents' house because my daughter somewhere was growing up feeling, watching me feeling hopeless, of course. helpless, and weak Absolutely. as a woman. And mm -hmm. it was not a nice scene. Absolutely. So um, I, I, I did go back to my parents' house. And my parents, they pledged to support me in every way. And my sister and my brother-in-law both they stood by me, um, gave all the financial support, uh, you know, uh, mentored me, you know, to, to well, say, yeah. you can do this, you, you, you can build a life. You, you, you know? felt this, the strength uh, coming back to your body, I guess. Yes. Uh, and then somehow you landed in Bordeaux. <laughs> yes. I, so, yeah, it, tell us about that. Um, so my sister, my sister suggested that, you know, I should go ahead and do an MBA or something. Uh, to further my studies, uh, my father he suggested that you know I become a school teacher in the school next door where my my daughter was uh, enrolled, and uh, I somehow felt you know I I I should do what my sister said because um, it's a new life I I could build up a life um, a, a better life, um, and then I I looked up 
on the internet, what could be an amalgamation of French and wine? What can, you know, where can I go? So uh, Bordeaux came to my mind and I looked up the internet. Um, in Bordeaux, it would be um, learning, I would be learning French, I would seat myself in the language. And at the same time, I would be following my passion, that was wine. So, talk, so tell me about the, this passion, because I, I, I heard something about you, you, you studied um, um, hospitality. So wine was the, somehow somewhere in your in your brain right that's right yeah so uh when i was studying hospitality in hospitality uh between 2000 and 2004 i had a very crazy professor who <laughs> uh who loved beverages and he taught me a lot about wines and um um and then after that alliance francais too you know fueled my passion Absolutely. for wines uh, okay. so i think after these two uh i was more inclined towards getting into something that was more light-hearted to do over the years and um not a very tough thing for a 37 year old at that time oh. um absolutely so then you said okay wine equals bordeaux Bordeaux, uh, I, and I, then, <laughs> and then I looked chauvin. up. That's very chauvin. That's very chauvin. I looked up, and then I I saw Insec. Um, they had a lot of wine courses. They had uh, courses in spirits. So I said, why not? Uh, you know, it's a beautiful campus uh, right next to the river, and um, Insec just fit right into the bill. But fantastic, and I uh, so I know I remember you of course being my student one of my best one of my most motivated and that makes sense you know since uh you're telling uh, the story and it's not it wasn't easy uh, so you're always um asking questions and trying to get as much as you as as you could out of uh, our lectures but you had to uh, uh to to do a internship to validate your diploma and uh, chateau siron was the chateau mm -hmm. where you uh, did that, right? The Miai Absolutely. family? Absolutely, Miai right? family. Tell us about that. <laughs> so I think the five months at the uh, at, at Chateau Siron is one of the most treasured memories for me till date. Um, Siron happened uh, when I finished one month of school and I was supposed to go out for an internship of you know five or six months. And um, the, uh, the Miai family recruited me and they made me the brand ambassador for their wines uh, for, uh, uh, for the period. And then they, um, uh, so my job was basically to uh, speak about the brand, to speak about, to, to uh, explain to the people uh, the history, the winemaking process. So I got to stay at, um, at the uh, chateau, uh, in, um, you know, in the premises of the chateau. And uh, I had people from all across the world who were coming to the chateau, you know, to visit. So um, I, when I would explain, I would also ask questions, uh, you know, about how is it uh, in your country? How is the culture in your country? What do you drink? What are the great varieties? And, you know, so that I started expanding my radius of knowledge over there. And um, uh, every day in the evening, I would go out to the vineyard. After work, I would go out to the vineyards and I would uh, look at the vines and watch them grow every day. Um, and I somehow felt that the wines were, you know, um, not just the business, not just the business. Right? No, no, it's, just it, it's just a joy to watch the wines grow, you know. Um, and, and then I felt like the wines were cradling me and then, you know, showing me a new way of life. Uh, so after mm -hmm. so so what happened was uh, the evenings uh were the most toughest because you know i was all alone in 88 hectares of uh, a castle 18th mm -hmm. century castle and then yeah, you, you have the woods you have the vineyards so uh, i was terribly terribly afraid <laughs> oh really yeah oh, I, was I it, so, so then like, you have to, you had the time to think about you know your uh, your own brand we're going to talk about solicantus in a minute yeah, uh, yeah, I guess this is that like the seeds, uh, planting the seeds, right? Absolutely. But before we we speak about your brand, uh, tell us. So after school, so you finish your studies, internship, you got your diploma, mm -hmm. and uh, what 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 were your your takeaways from uh, from the insect? What, what uh, you know? Few words about that. So. Um... 
well, INSEC was a completely different experience. Um, I cherish those memories uh, from INSEC. Thanks to all of you. Uh, we had great professors. Uh, Daniel, a uh, big mm, shout out to you. Of course. Um, <laughs> Jean-Noël Dolly, a uh, big shout out to you too. Um, Domi Thiel, thank you for all the administration. Kathy uh, Hugh, our visiting professor, and all the, the whole team. I think, you know, they come together uh, to put everything, uh, to get everything going. And it's, it's a wonderful school. Um, uh, another thing about INSEC is uh, when you come to INSEC, they have a lot of networking events and um, this, you know, the students really need to make use of like, you know, even I did. And I went to each and every one of the event. Um, so it's for, for us to take it further after, but networking is a very big part of the wine industry. Um, and then I also remember that at INSEC, I met a whole lot of students from different countries. I met people from China. I met people from Ecuador. I met people from uh, Russia. I met amazing people from Italy, um, you know, all parts of the world. And it was almost like a melting pot. Mm. Um, and I remember, um, uh, for, for example, you know, um, you learn so much from, from these friends. Um, you, you learn their uh, politics, you learn their culture, you learn their stories, you learn their um, um, pol politics and then, you know, their food, their mm -hmm. beverages that they serve in their country. And also, uh, for example, there was uh, this girl who, who brought a bottle of Baiju and I had never tasted Baiju before oh, yeah. that. <laughs> so she got it during lunch break and then she served to all of us and she said, uh, Gambe. <laughs> Gambe, of course. And so then, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> It, yeah. You discover that, uh, yeah, that drink, the, and then, yeah, absolutely. So the melting pot, and you know, making all the friends and networking. Uh, and I guess you learn also how to build a brand, how to distribute it, how to approach markets. Uh, absolutely. And I guess you, uh, you're you using it right now uh, because you are building your own brand. Huh? So right. yeah, how did you come up with that brand, Soli Cantos? We're gonna, uh, we we want to know. So um, I think school in a way helped me um, uh, a bit because of all the knowledge that you get, you know, for the distribution, for uh, how to uh, position your brand and uh, a lot of marketing classes. Um, mm -hmm. The, uh, when I actually decided to come up with the brand, it was after school that I decided to come up with the brand. Um, I, I visited Vin Expo uh, one of the days, uh, as I was always networking, I visited Vin Expo and then, uh, you know, there was uh, Corinne Chevrier who was getting everybody to taste her beautiful wines. And uh, Corinne, uh, we spoke and uh, Corinne served me her wines and she said, would you like to taste? Uh, I tasted and, um, you know, we got talking and then she said, why don't you come and visit the vineyards? I said, yes, I would love to. And then after a month, I went to a vineyards uh, and spoke to her. And I realized her passion for wines was, uh, was you know, uh, evident. So she, she walked across the vineyard, you know, touching every leaf, explaining to me that, you know, um, the, the wine growing cycle is like a gestation period. Um, you know, the grapes grow um, and then, you know, by the end of the season, you harvest and that is like the delivery of, uh, of the babies. And then you, you know, as two women, uh, we connected, we laughed, we laughed about it, but we connected. And uh, I asked her if, she, you know, if she could teach me wine making. So uh, she did agree. And uh, from then onwards, I started, um, I started time, time to time. I started working with her. At the same time, I was managing my business wine equation because wine equation is something that I had built uh, when I was at Chateau Siron. Um, in the nights, I would I would watch educational videos of Jancis Robinson, Michael Fagan, uh, you know, Hugh uh, mm -hmm. Johnson, and um, because I was scared, I was frightened of the darkness. And and then towards <laughs> the morning, I used to you know. Uh, fall asleep you know, watching friends or you know something with uh, laughter so um in the evenings when i went back to the uh, to my little apartment there uh, i would sit and think about uh, you know send out my resumes at the same time i came up with the uh, with the company wine equation and then i started building um the company so when i met her i was also managing wine equation so at wine equation i i sell that so, excuse me what one equation is a like a negotiant company right it like, is a, absolutely okay. it's a negotiant company so right. i sell barrels to the beer, uh, beer and spirits industry 
I also uh, do a little bit of wine advising, um, fine wine investment advising, and um, yeah, and private labels. Okay. So. Um, I, I, I was at that point of time, I was managing uh, wine equation too, and I still manage wine equation. And Solicantus is a brand of, uh, you know, that I sell through wine equation. So, um, that's a real baby. That's the real baby. The, yeah, let's say the, the creep Absolutely. is wine equation, the baby is Solicantus, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And I heard you have, like, I want to ask you about the, the essence behind your brand, of course. Uh, but I think you have, a, like, a short video or something that you want to show. Uh, if, um, yeah, if if you can play the video, that would be great because we it's unreleased. Um, I just right. received it uh, a, a couple of days back, and I would love to uh, you know release it today. I for, think I think it's everybody. gonna help uh, people to to get to the to the essence, and then you tell us about that. Okay, absolutely. Let's watch a video. A story that goes beyond borders. A story of strength and courage. A story of two women who work together for one passion. When life and nature brings harmony, the melody of the soil comes alive in a bottle. Celebrate each day with Soli Cantos. Wow, that was that was nice. I mean, can't wait to taste. <laughs> Thank this you. This is really nice. Congratulations! It's uh, really so looking much. nice. And uh, and now, I mean, now we want to hear about Solicantus. So, wh what's the meaning? What's what's in inside the bottle? And what's the okay. essence of it? What do you have in mind uh, <laughs> when you 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 built this brand? Uh, because you're building a brand. So um, I had gained enough experience uh, with building a brand through uh, an Indian client who was in London and he wanted a, a brand for his hotel. So I had worked on a brand and uh, at some point of time, uh, you know, I spoke to Corinne about uh, about coming up with my own brand and uh, she was very encouraging. So um, she said, go ahead. So uh, the like everybody's problem, what would be the design? What would be the name? You know, it's um, it's 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 uh, it's difficult to of find um, you know a suitable name that reflects uh, what's in the wine. So I I I took a vacation around the same time. I took a vacation to Bruges, um, and there I visited a museum where I I keenly observed Salvador Dali's uh, Salvador Dali's uh, paintings, and uh, in his paintings he used implied lines. You know to tell a story mm. so um that idea really struck me and then i said uh i should do something in these lines so um i came back and i sketched uh, a swirl that went right up like that and um i wanted to uh, show the journey of the wine in the bottle so the must at the bottom i can show it to you yeah 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 please Label. okay yep so actually that's the like the soul what's called, what's the name of it let's say again solicantus no 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 that's this the brand the, this is the swirl so this is yeah. the swirl uh -huh. you know it's the journey of the wine in the in the ah, cube okay in the vat and this is the must the darker colored must ah. and then this is the clear wine at the end of the uh you know wine cycle so um then the name um solicantus um well, for the colors, I did a lot of research about, uh, you know, the colors in different markets. Uh, I looked at what people like, what colors people like, uh, blacks, reds, whites, uh, grays, you know, in, in my main markets. And then I, I went for these colors. And then uh, the name, I, I was looking at what could reflect the joy of the soil that can be shown in a name. So I looked at different languages. Uh, to talk about terroir or soil. And then I found Latin was the perfect fit because a, so, a, a soli in Latin means soil and cantus means melody in Absolutely. Latin. It's the melody du sol. So it's the, sol. It's, the, it's, the, it's the soil singing, right? Absolutely. Uh, so I was very happy by the, by the end of four months. It was four months of, you know, racking your brain, what you're going to name it. Absolutely. And uh, because it's like another baby. Mm. Um, 
And I was really happy by the end of it. I sent it to my graphic designer. She designed it, um, and then she sent it back to me. So, you know, it all came together perfectly. So, so that was a year ago, right? That, uh, was... that was in, uh, yes, 2019. 2019. 2019. Was the end of 2019. Right. And uh, two, but, uh, 2020 in February, I remember I was already, I was set to take it to the market. Uh, I I looked up importers. I looked at uh, you know which markets I want to be in, which markets you know I can access. So I did a lot of homework, and um, I almost booked my tickets when uh, when we all got news that COVID. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So we're going to talk about market and and the the business part because of course I'm curious. I'm a professor of business, so I want to hear about that, and I think people want to hear about that your strategy. Mm -hmm. But before that, I want to hear about this this part uh, of the element of giving. Uh, right. You have a giving help, supporting people. It's it's also important to you, right? Oh, it comes from deep uh, below in my heart because um, as I grew up in India, I witnessed a lot of um, a, 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 a lot of um, uh, how do I say this uh, difficulty for women and uh, girls especially. Um, so um, there was this time when I was around eight years old. We were at the beach uh, in Pondicherry. Uh, it, it's a coastal side on this east side of India and uh, I was with my cousins we were like all kids you know we were playing on the beach and uh, we saw a doll floating on the um, on, on the shore and we, we picked her up and then we um, we picked it up and then we realized it's not a, a doll it's a it was a dead baby so hmm. somewhere um, you know that memory never left me you know it kept com kept coming back to me and then when I had my child uh, Shloka um, I had a nanny who was at home uh, taking care from time to time of my daughter and she was narrating her experiences and how she had to throw away her baby into the river because she was a girl. So uh, somewhere uh, all of this kept coming back to me and in 2017 I met with a major accident in one of the highways in France um, yeah. and um, I, I almost lost my life but it was a miracle I survived without a scratch. Um, so after this, I, I said, you know, my, my life definitely has a purpose and I'm going ahead with this purpose of, you know, uplifting women and children, uh, especially girls. So um, every bottle of Solicantis today sold, 30 cents will go into education of girl children in India. That's that's fantastic. And and, and I guess it's, you need it also to, to, to uh, be a happy person. So it's not just about you know, selling wine and uh, and uh, make a living. It's also uh, came coming back. Like it's a it's a it's a circle, right? It's very important to give back. The more you give back, uh, the more life gives to you. But you know, you give back and you're you're happy with with what you have created. You're creating an impact in this on this planet. You're creating um, you're creating jobs. You're creating uh, you're uplifting women. You're empowering. And the only way that I realize to empower a woman or a child is to to educate them. You know, and go from the scratch till the end. Absolutely. You know? And it's so, also about legacy, right? It's also it about legacy. Uh, it's uh, I guess you you want your brand to to stay forever. <laughs> And also uh, uh, help help people to uh, yeah. be educated, which is also forever, right? So, so with this, it was very tricky because the last year I could not uh, really um, go ahead with this plan because I was supposed to travel to India and meet a few uh, yeah. NGOs, foundations, yeah. but I could never. So um, I'm very happy to announce today that we have finally tied up with uh, Mukul Mother Foundation, uh, which is a uh, foundation that gives more than it receives. Uh, and the uh, the person who runs it is uh, Ritu Chabria, who does a fantastic, phenomenal job uh, with the children. You know, social welfare for them. You know, be it education, be it healthcare. I think she's just a wonderful person. I was inspired by this woman after oh. speaking to her for two hours. So the future plans would be to go visit, I guess. Uh, Absolutely. And, yeah. So and uh, yeah, the, the idea is to get involved. The idea is to also get involved in the microscopic level, you know, yeah. probably um, giving a bit of my time teaching the children 
you know, life skills like French, like I did. <laughs> okay, right. So, uh, right. and also, you know, empowering, picking up a few children and empowering them, speaking right. to them. And the, also the idea is to bring them to France. And at some point when, you know, the brand is a little uh, bigger, bring them to France and, um, and show them, uh, you know, help them dream that, you know, something like this exists you know, and teach them winemaking, you know, to up their skills. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I think this is what I would like to do in, you know, in a, in a few years. That, that, that's the, that's the vision. Huh? We, we, yes. uh, we spoke, we sp Absolutely. In business planning, we talk about vision, mission, and then we put together the numbers, right? So yes. let's, let's say vision, mission is there. Okay. Now let's talk about distribution. So where can we buy it? Okay, good question. Ah, uh, so, <laughs> right. So uh, as of now, we uh, want, uh, Solicantus is present, of course, in France. You can find it in La Petite Cave in uh, in Bly. Uh, okay. I there's also a web shop that's coming up on on the website of Solicantus, so you will be able to ah. order directly uh, with us. Ah, okay. Um, not the, yet. It's not, not there yet. Okay. Not yet. So it's coming up. It, it will come. So in the UK, we work with uh, uh, Wine and Something, who are incredible uh, with importing and uh, great importers, uh, good values. Um, and then we have we are also uh, present in Paul Mall, uh, the fancy Paul Mall. So um, they're selling Solicantis. Um, in the US, we are still in negotiating terms. Uh, things are looking very good, and we should be there in a few months. Um, uh, there is also a, a former insect student that I contacted in, uh, I don't know how we met. We did, we did she, con yeah, she did contact me. She said, uh, I like the brand and, okay. um, she said, can we have a zoom call? And I said, yes. And then we had a zoom call and she, by the way, is a former insect student uh -huh. and, um, and she has turned an importer in Belgium. Um, and she runs a very, we know. Uh, at the moment, uh, ah. a nice tasting room with uh, many, many uh, wine references and uh, very incredible woman herself. Okay. So, um, so I'm tying it with, uh, up with her. Hopefully, you, networking, uh, right? Networking. Yes, it's you all said, about networking. You said something <laughs> about networking, and so yeah, you're building your distribution yes, with yeah. your network, right? Absolutely. And then uh, trying to, I guess. You, you, you're starting, so we cannot find it everywhere yet. <laughs> we can't wait. Yeah. Uh, it's going to, uh, to, to, to happen, right? So uh, what are the next steps? So what the future plans? So I heard something about the book. Is that going to be part of it? Well, yes, we have loads of plans. Uh, I, I luckily, uh, the last year I took a lot of time to uh, finish my book, which talks about uh, the journey uh, of, you know, my, my journey into the wine world. Um, I, I've realized that uh, book writing is a different job altogether and publishing mm -hmm. is a different job altogether. So that will take a little bit of time to, uh, to be released, uh, but it's all on the cards. Um, sure. And we have, I, I must show you, we have, I just received these today. This is the, these are the white wines. All right. So yeah, the, the sister, the sister. So, yes, yes. This is Solicantus White. So, um, so a lot of exciting things happening. Um, the book. How can you handle all of that? <laughs> <laughs> and I and also well, I, you told me that the, your daughter finally joined you, right? Yes, yes, that's right. No, you're right about handling um, uh, a lot of things, but uh, you know <laughs> you just need to learn to balance it uh, well. And you need to take time, and whatever you do, you need to do with your heart. Um, the next step for us also is to uh, get in a few investors, uh, like I was, I've been saying, and we do have a few investors who are interested in, uh, you know, teaming up with me to come up with an exclusive brand. Uh, we would buy a few parcels of uh, vineyards to ah. to uh, come up with another brand. So uh, Solicantus will continue, but we will also come up with another brand, exclusive brand. So um, you have your daughter, yes, yes mother, yes, business yes. woman. Oh, yes. My my writer is, uh, finally. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> you see, uh, uh, no, uh, she's a very. You need it, right? It's like you. It's like a revenge, somehow. <laughs> it's like a revenge. You want to punch the bad times in that you had in the past. Yeah, um, I I I don't know because every day was a learning, whether it was pretty or ugly, or you know whether it was it it just gives you. Um, 
you know, it's it's just life. You have good days and you have bad days. So I don't regret anything um, of my past. Uh, so my daughter finally, after uh, you know a year of, we've been apart for four years now. And uh, last year she was supposed to be here, and then uh, you know again COVID had turned everything upside down, and you know she couldn't come here. Eventually, by the end of the year, she could fly down here. Okay. And um, now um, you know managing Great. her school. <laughs> how how <laughs> old is she, by the way? She's thirteen. Wow. She's okay, thirteen. She... They're a very cheeky girl. Um, very talented. Uh, she's a um, she's a singer, and she's uh, she has a gorgeous voice. Uh, has been practicing oh. since she was five. She's a golfer. Um, and, All right. So yeah. you need uh, you need to handle uh, thirteen years old. That's yes. a teenager. So, uh, <laughs> so that's... when she came, when she came, uh, Minato, when she came. Um, uh, I, I was elated. I was happy, and you know, like every mother, you know, I have I've missed her. Though you know, it was I visited India uh, time to time, but it was not like living with each other. Uh, earlier, she would, you know, when I left, uh, before I left, she would come and give me hugs and kisses. But um, uh, when she came here, you know, she was a teen, and you know, things were so different. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and life changed. Uh, the second day when she was here. Um, I said, uh, hey, Shloka, I need to, you know, I, I have a meeting. I was rushing for the meeting. I said, Shloka, I'll, I'll be back in a few hours. And she looked at me and said, okay, that's fine. What's for lunch? <laughs> that's it. All right. <laughs> What's All for right. lunch? That's and <laughs> that's when I realized, oh, my God, I have to balance between being a, a working woman and, you know, a mother. Unbelievable. Um, but, you know, it, it's yeah. been great. It's been it's yeah, just very, been very, very, very proud, of very you. proud of you. Uh, I I guess I mean I it's part of success uh, to be able to balance uh, every everything and uh, and uh, it's, it's challenging I'm sure <laughs> challenging I'm sure. <laughs> but it's satisfying so, yeah of course of course so um, uh, let me you know get a little back uh, to the the market so you you're from India uh, we in the industry we die to to find more you know places where you can we can sell our wines huh? you mm -hmm. you know it's tricky out there uh what about indian wine market um us. i think india india has a great potential as a wine market and uh, i think no brand should really ignore india uh, at the moment and uh, if you have heard it right um this year the import duties were brought down to 50 percent but you know, at the same time, they added a, a infrastructure and development sales, uh, agricultural infrastructure and development sales of about 100%, uh, which, you know, brought the, the uh, import duties back to 150%. Uh, but uh, from what I hear and from what I understand, uh, I think India, uh, they, they are going to bring down taxes, uh, you know, over the... Over yeah, the that's the one of the, yeah. Yeah, and it has great, great, great potential. Um, I see, I see the changes in India. Consumption has been increasing twenty percent um, every year, uh, especially women uh, in the women's sector. Uh, I see a lot of women uh, taking to wine, um, and wine before was had only in the upper classes before. Um, mm -hmm. I'm talking about, you know, even five years back, five to six years back. But now I see wine is trickling down to the middle class, and um, that's a very good sign. And you have 1.3 billion people in India. So, and are we going to see uh, Indian wines uh, on the shelves in France soon, or it's not there yet? Uh, there are there are a few uh, brands that have been that are being sold in um, a few hotels in in Paris. Um, I I've not seen any in Bordeaux, but very uh, confidential still, yeah, right? Yeah, very, very small, very small, very yeah. small. So, so I know it's wine. I mean, India is a wine wine country. India is okay. huge, of course. Not everywhere you can find wine, but I I know. Uh, we, I had students from India. And I know uh, uh, there are regions where wine is part of life, right? I'm talking about Pune, right? Well, uh, oh, yeah, yeah you, we talk about Na Nasik, which is very close to Pune. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the city I come from, Bangalore, uh, it, Bangalore. Has, uh, it has a lot of vineyards. Uh, so somewhere, you know, people are developing the local market too, local wines. Uh, people are coming up with reserve wines, you know, local wines. Um, I think I think India is the next market, but it's never going to be China. 
it's never going to go the way China went. Um, uh, it is going to be a completely different market. It's a different, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you it's price sensitive, uh, to be to be honest, and um, and but you have a lot of very niche market, market, right? You need to be very accurate. Yes, yes. Very accurate. All right. So that's about India. Um, I, 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 of course, I, I need to ask you what advice, okay, you you have for all these students watching us right now, uh, you suffering from COVID, which is not fun at all. I know. Uh, but it's going to fit end somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you tell them? What 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 advice you have? Um... I have three advices to give to the students. One is about mentoring. Um, so uh, throughout you know, my experience itself, uh, I was going in all directions without a mentor. So a mentor is going to take you and he's going to make you understand your strengths and your weaknesses. A mentor is going to show you a path um, that, is, that could be fit for you, you know? And it's going to be um, a, a work together, the mentor and you. So um, don't uh, go ahead with life without a mentor. Reach out to your professors. You know, I had um, I have you, Menacho, mm -hmm. and then I have John Noel Dolly. I have Kathy, and I have uh, my brother-in-law, who has been the biggest, biggest support and mentor for me, who has handheld me uh, throughout throughout my time. Um, and uh, my sister who's been mentoring me. So um, a mentor is very, very important. Uh, a lot of people think that, uh, you know, people don't respond. Uh, a mentor wouldn't respond, you're busy, you know. But um, I, I should tell you this experience of mine because in 2017, when I was still a student, I used to watch a lot of uh, Michael Fagan's uh, videos on, um, on YouTube. You know, uh, he did a lot for LCBO. So I reached out to him on LinkedIn. I sent a little message, you know, even though I knew that, you know, he might be busy, he wouldn't respond, you know, things like that. So um, I left a little, I said, thank you so much for these videos. You know, I'm enjoying them. I'm learning, it's enriching and everything. And I was shocked that he he wrote back. He took some time to write back, but he did write back. Um, and uh, of course we, we reconnected uh, just a couple of weeks back and he's helping me with the LCBO, LCBO and things like that. But you know, it's um, a mentor is, is, is absolutely important and you have to reach out to, this men to these mentors. Um, LinkedIn, the second advice is LinkedIn. Use LinkedIn to its maximum. It's free, it's free. You can take time to create a nice profile of yourself, put a nice picture out there. Put put everything you did. You you sold you 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 sold um, lemonade for a day. Put it out there. Uh, you know, uh, give recommendations. Um, you know, to LinkedIn is a is a great platform to connect. And I think a lot of students ignore this platform. Yeah. Um, my third advice um, would be work hard. Really, there's no there's no shortcut success you mm. really need to put in that work you need to work hard and yeah. that's when you're going to achieve your dreams yeah uh, yeah i mean coming from you we <laughs> we can of course uh we can uh, only believe you so um now uh, how can we reach uh, out to you so you live in bordeaux mm -hmm. uh you you have an office here the winery is in Blay. Uh, I mm -hmm. think we didn't Absolutely. speak much about the uh, the wine region, so it's Blay, which is mm -hmm. north of Bordeaux. Um, so the the uh, next steps, uh, maybe building something. You said something about building new winery, or uh, right up. Uh, are you staying in Bordeaux forever? I'm, I'm staying. <laughs> yes, yes. I think this is going to be my base. Um, Bordeaux okay. is uh, where where because it's you know I'm involved in a lot of. Uh, uh, you know, winemaking, and then you know, if if you're going to buy a vineyard, I'm definitely going to be here. My daughter is going to school; she's well settled now. Uh, okay. She she's learned French; she's fluent. She comes back and tells me, "Mama, I'm fluent in French." So, um, uh, it, it I'm going to travel, of course, uh, to different markets. Hopefully, when you know <laughs> no, the world course. is a better place. But you know, COVID had, has made it easier to connect. Like I was telling you, I spoke to this lady from Insec uh, who's turned an importer. Where we, you know, we connected, and that that quality time connection on Zoom, even that was really good enough. Uh, and course. I sent her a couple of bottles. 
So um, I think the world has become a, a simpler place right now. Uh, but yes, of course, okay. at some point, you know, instead of traveling 10 times, you would of course, reduce your travel. Of course, of course. Uh, so, so we can we can reach you uh, using LinkedIn, of course. Um, so the website is solicantus uh, that if fr right? Yes. I guess it's if, yes. Soli uh, www dot solicantus uh, dot fr. Right. If I, I have shared a slide, if you can put up the slide, uh, you have all the information over there. Um, you can connect with me on Instagram uh on on linkedin of course uh facebook um uh, so you're, you're actively yeah you're actively i mean getting all those uh social media updated i uh, yes. and uh, and i know you do uh that takes time as well <laughs> and maybe you will need to hire some of my students over there huh I will create a team um, in the near future. We are just getting there. Um, I will need people to manage the social media. I will need people to uh, manage the distribution, and you know, um, it's it's going to. I'm going to work with Insec uh, in the future to create the team. Uh, so I'm looking forward for fresh minds, uh, new dimension, uh, you know, dimensions added to the business. So uh, it's exciting. Super. Super, super. So I guess this is uh, almost the end. I am um, trying to get some questions from uh, I don't know, people mm -hmm. uh, with us. I don't know if uh, we can, we have some uh, questions. It's, uh, it's time now. I see uh, uh, Maxim, oh yeah, Maxim Christie. Hello, <laughs> saying hi. Um, it, it, I know, I mean, you told us your story, what you're doing. You showed your brand. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think we can wait to to learn about you know the next steps. So we should be connected, stay, remain connected, right? Mm -hmm. uh, using all this social network, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Are you planning to to do some other uh, other videos, stuff like that? Uh, yes, I mean, you know, uh, we will every, I think six months will come up with a video uh, to for people to understand the brand. I think now uh, the world is more visual. You want, you know, you need good pictures, you need good uh, visuals, videos. So um, I have a great uh, videographer from Holland, uh, Robin, uh, who came here during, you know, uh, with, with his tattoo artist and they were tattooing and he said, why don't you do a video? And at the same time, I was thinking I should be doing a video. And then you know he he sent me um, this video. He said you know let's let's this concept and then let's say, let's do this. So it all came together and finally we released it. Uh, so uh, I'm happy. I have the team. Um, you know, and now it, it, there's a lot of freelancers working. So I'm happy yes, to work with them. Absolutely. So yeah. you're building it. You're building it as we speak, yeah. <laughs> and we're very excited about it. Listen, uh, very proud of it. I, I I mean your success is our success uh we uh we will be uh, we will be supporting you okay all of us i i wish you the best okay and uh, if you have few words for the the world before we go well menacho thank you so much for having me here Pleasure. and uh, right. to everybody listening and watching thank you so much for having me here it has been a pleasure and uh, i wish you all a great year um, and big success in your lives and uh, please follow us on uh, www.solicantus.fr and uh, if you need a little bit of mentoring uh, any help any information please reach out to me if i cannot answer immediately i will get back to you in a few days fantastic yeah. already thank you everyone thank you so Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A story that goes beyond borders. A story of strength and courage. A story of two women who work together for one passion. When life and nature brings harmony, the melody of the soil comes alive in a bottle. Celebrate each day with Soli Cantos.